Well, here we are again, 20th of March 2024. We have made a start drilling, uh, the sugar bait. We are here at Iken, just off the Snake Road. There is the river Old, very nice. Um, yeah, a lot of mud flats in that. Um, very, very shady fields. Um, yeah, they're getting, the days are getting a bit jammed with the, um, the rubber wheels in the front and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's all good. And then, let me finish this one. And, uh, so he's done a casual, um, the six hymns. Um, he is a bit rough. All they've done is plowed and tack and matted it, which is just, um, and they, you know, and they underside it with spring barley, so it don't blow away. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's all good. We're not getting on very well again, trying to plow this thing, man. Got a bowsel. And before you say of all this stuff about ruining the soil, there's only two lines in the middle there that were the worst ones. That's where the mouse uh, wheels went. So once I got out of that, it wasn't so bad. But if I don't, as I said, if I don't do it now, when do I do it? It's now almost the end of March. You need to get that land ripped up and drilled. So yeah, it needs to needs to be done. And that the soil will not be uh, the worst damage that's done to that soil is through the sugar beet dirt and that, that's in it, not the, not the compaction, because the whole lot's compacted anyway. So what we'll do, even though the crop isn't any very good, we'll still, it'll still help get some moisture out of the ground there and um, and then uh, put something through it next, uh, after we've harvested the crop next summer to um, help remove the compaction. So yeah, it won't be, uh, it'll get sorted out. So uh, there's no need for you to worry and write some of these raving comments. You're damaging your soil and all that sort of thing, I know. And, uh, you just have to do what's the best in your situation. You know, this is the best thing to do. Because if I, if you leave it un, unploughed and that just sits there like that, the, the water will just sit there. It might it'll probably disappear by some time with the heat and that, but it won't do, it won't do the soil any good to not have properly. So that's the reason I'm doing this. we go. That's one mouse cramp plowed. It's not the best plan in the world but that's done. Yeah so that's the bit that was plowed earlier and that's the bit that was plowed today. Though the main reason I came here is there. Look along the bottom here can you see that line? That bit there had liquid fertilizer on. One dose of liquid fertilizer that's what they had on about 210 lit no, 230 litres a hectare that lot had on. This bit didn't have any because of way, the way I moved around here to avoid this bit here that hasn't been uh, done. So this bit in the corner, it didn't get any. And that's what the difference is. Just a couple of hundred litres of fertiliser a hectare. So that's why we put the stuff on. Because here it will probably come to nothing and that will have a decent crop on. 
Evening guys, it's just now just gone 11 o'clock. Put some uh, put the fertilizer on there. See at the back there. Yeah, this is a uh, winter barley. Just putting the final dose here on the winter barley. Traveling really well. It's finally dried out here. So yeah, this winter barley crop here doesn't look too bad at all. Well, you can see much of it because it's dark, but no, it's, it's not looking too bad at all. This uh, with the barley, so I'm proud about that because it's got some crops that aren't looking great. So, so yeah, but no, it's now uh, 11 o'clock. You say, Why am I going so late? Well, it's going to rain tomorrow. Well, I didn't think I was even going to do any at all today because I said yesterday it was going to rain today, and well, we had a few drops, and not even enough to, I wouldn't even have been enough to stop a combine, let alone stop a sprayer. So, I had to do the pigs, I had to um, fill the hoppers up again because you see where I've got that that problem with that uh, system. So yeah, I had to, we had to fill them up and then uh, I had to split all the pigs now because when they're smaller we double up in the pens to keep them warm and um, yeah, so we had to split the pigs in half and uh, move some hoppers around. So yeah, that took virtually, I think I finished the pigs about half past five. And then I did that bit of ploughing you saw one end of the field and uh, the other end of the field, well, that was absolutely terrible. I'm going to have to get a trace horse to pull me because uh, it's been dry all week here virtually. And, uh, well, I went along a little bit and I got a bit bad, so I left the plough out. And I wouldn't even go without the plough in the ground. So I had to reverse out. But, yeah, that's a bit that's a bit wet. That's at the bottom corner of this field. So, yeah, I didn't say why I was still going, did I? Uh, four minutes past... Uh, 11 at night yeah yeah it's gonna be talking about showers tomorrow so but tomorrow Saturday so I'm trying to get as much done today so don't have so much to do tomorrow because I'm already pushing in the rain so the thing is with the fields I may have dried out on top but there is moisture down there and far before we get some moisture so it'd be far better to get it done before we have these showers and a mess about in the, in the, in the rain because probably the spray gets muddy and horrible and then you put it away and then the, the next time you get out if it's dried in the shed you make a dreadful mess bringing it out just outside the shed where all the mud just falls off and yeah so if I can get it done in the dry where the wheels are running clean I will do so but yeah not an exactly interesting video because obviously you can't see much it's dark but anyway progress is being made if it was dry for another three or four days Probably a couple of days I reckon be out with the drill, but um, the problem I'm finding is where the uh, anything that's left over winter like on the plough or where it hasn't been drilled is, is drying out nicely, but wherever it's been drilled it's got washed together, it's so tight, it just isn't drying out very well, so I have to get the spring tines out and pull that out, but that ain't even that ain't even uh, dry enough to do that, so let alone drill it. So but I reckon I, I wonder if I might be drilling the the sugar beet before I drill the um, before I drill the uh, spring barley. We just have to see how it goes. Oh yeah, and uh, happy birthday! It's your birthday today, Kevin. Um, yeah, your birthday is on Monday. If you're watching this on Monday, well, you probably will, but other people are watching it. Yeah, it's Monday. The coming Monday is uh, Kevin's 48th birthday. So we wish him all the best for that and. Uh, if you see us and uh, write, write some comments, wish him happy birthday because that'll, uh, that'll make his day. So yeah, all the best to Kevin with his um, problems he's got with his hips and knees and that sort of thing. He's got to have some waiting for some operations. So all the best for him. Yeah, and some of you don't know who Kevin is. I've just put a picture in here of him. Um, Kev, you see that a few seconds ago. Um, but yeah, Kevin's the Kevin's the one who did the um, who was the, the number one hedger driver. If you remember that, I don't know, it must be a month or maybe a bit longer ago than that when he was out in the. No, it's longer ago than that, two or three months ago when he was out in the hedger. We have a little joke with him about him being the number one hedger driver. So yeah, that's who uh, Kevin is. If you don't know who who he is.